Now to news of a fresh snub to Prince Harry. He's not been included in Sandhurst's guide to its most notable graduates. The Duke of Sussex was not chosen as one of the 200 prominent people who served at the prestigious military academy. Prince William is on the list and he also wrote the book's foreword. Well, I'm joined now by the Royal Commentator Richard Fitzwilliams. Richard, this is a rather embarrassing snub. Here we go again, yet more bad news for Prince Harry. Why do you think Sandhurst has been motivated to do this, Richard? Well, I mean, I think in normal circumstances, and these are not normal circumstances, as you know, of course he would have been in the guide because, after all, in 2013, he founded the Invictus Games for wounded and uh, recovering servicemen and women. And it's been a remarkable success. And, of course, as we know, he saw two terms of duty in Afghanistan as a forward um, air controller and also as an Apache pilot. Normally, being a very prominent figure too, that would have uh, clearly meant that he would have joined the likes of uh, Winston Churchill, Tim Peake, David Niven and James Blunt. But unquestionably, the extract from his biography, autobiography, Spare, where he actually listed the numbers of Taliban that he'd personally killed during his second term of duty in Afghanistan and referred to them as, I quote, chess pieces. Uh, that was criticized by a large number of uh, figures in the military. And that, I think, as well as the fact that he's written with the royal family, I think is a reason for him being excluded Harry now joins other, quote, famous traitors and cads to have been erased from history from Sandhurst's um, former life, and that includes Oswald Mosley and Waffen SS officer Benson Freeman, who attended Sandhurst and have been airbrushed out of history. That's not the most salubrious company to be keeping, is it? Well, I mean, one just has to say regarding Prince Harry, he was undoubtedly somebody who, after a very, very angst-ridden childhood, we know the fact that uh, walking behind his mother's coffin and also the subsequent trauma. We know the, the fact that this has had a, a toll that he's written about on his mental health. I mean, there's absolutely no question that he saw the army as part and parcel of his life, and there's no doubt that he will, I think, be somewhat upset that he's excluded. But uh, behaviour such as, for example, listing the numbers of individuals that you personally killed, and also public criticism of, of his brother, for example, who's written the foreword to the book and is included in the book. I mean, this makes it pretty clear that why he's not in it personally, and I don't think he'd be that surprised. And Richard, do you think it's fair? Um, Colonel Richard Kemp, who's a regular on this show, said that he would have included him in Sandhurst's list, saying his service wasn't notable, but at least he was a big name. Yes, absolutely, because after all, if you have a name who is, and this is one of the things about being a senior member of the royal family, of course, you can do good and you can do good on a large scale. And it's also important to remember, I think, that Prince Harry's three charitable ventures, most particularly the Invictus Games, but also Centre Bali uh, in Lesotho and also Well Child, all of those, uh, which he's still attached to, he was involved with before he was married. I mean, uh, there was a joke at uh, the Golden Globes last night, Joe Coy, the host, uh, not uh, one who's had particularly good reviews for the way he handled it, but he did make a joke which caused some laughter by referring to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and asking what they had actually done. And the answer, he said, was nothing. Some of us might regrettably agree because most of what Harry did previously. I mean, there's no doubt that that was, I think, quite rem Invictus is remarkable. But also, if he and Meghan weren't trashing the royal family, which has been lucrative, I'm afraid, for them, what precisely have they done? That is, I think, a question perhaps they should be addressing themselves.
OK, thank you very much, Richard Fitzwilliams. Another embarrassing snub for Prince Harry.